Memorial Day weekend rolls around, that's when the barbecues and the picnics all kick off. So this weekend, whatever you're doing, either barbecuing or if you're going out on a picnic, you know it wouldn't be either without watermelon because everyone always has watermelon at barbecues and picnics. So today we're going to continue the theme of Memorial Day and we're going to do it with our dessert and cocktails. Today we are going to make watermelon cupcakes with a delicious cream cheese and whipped cream topping and then we're going to make a watermelon sangria. So it's going to be delicious, perfect for your Memorial Day weekend celebration. So let's get started. Right here, you know me, I'm not a big baker, so whenever I can take the help, I do it. This is baking insurance in a box. Find your favorite cake mix. You want the white one, and it has to be super moist, okay? So I chose Betty Crocker. Now you just follow the ingredients on the box. This box calls for a third of a cup of oil. It calls for three egg whites. Some call for a whole egg. This one calls for egg whites. So three egg whites. And it calls for a cup and a quarter of water. Now instead of the water, this is where the watermelon comes in. Look at that beautiful red ruby watermelon juice. Now what I did was I took a medium sized watermelon this morning and I cut it open and I took all of the flesh out, put it in a blender in increments and then made the juice. Then I strained it through a strainer that was lined with cheesecloth. So it catches like all of the foam and any of the fleshiness that's left behind. And this is what you get. You get beautiful ruby red watermelon juice. We're gonna use this in our cupcakes and we're also gonna use this in our sangria. So this is a cup and a quarter, just like the box says. Instead of the water, this is where the watermelon juice comes in. So you just want to add that in, and then just, in just beautiful pinkish color. What we're going to do right here is, we're going to add another ingredient. Now when you think of watermelon, you think of the beautiful red flesh, the rind, and the green skin on the outside, and when you slice into a watermelon, you see the little black dots of the seeds. So we're going to give this our own seeds and we're going to do that by adding a cup of mini chocolate chips, okay? This is what I have here, a cup. Now to this, I'm adding a tablespoon of flour. Now the reason why we do that is because if we just put the chocolate chips in there as is, they would all sink to the bottom of the batter. But when you put the uh, flour, see how it beautifully it incorporates? When you put the flour in the chocolate chips and mix them around, it, the flour kind of helps the chocolate chips suspend into the batter of the cake mix. This way, they're distributed evenly throughout the cupcake. So now we're just going to take those and add them right to our cake mix. And you can do that with a spatula. Just incorporate them. them. Now all we're going to do is take this mixture, and right here I have my cupcake pan and I line them with these beautiful pink liners. We're going to pour our mix into the cupcake pan, put it in the oven, and bake off our cupcakes. They're going to be delicious. So now that we have our cupcakes baking off, let's start the first half of our frosting. What I have here is a package of one-third less fat cream cheese, okay? Wherever we can cut the calories, let's do it. To that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of room temperature butter. Everything should be at room temperature. Now to this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and we're going to add a cup of powdered sugar. And of course, I want to make this green, a very light green because we have the pink inside of the cupcake. So I want to tie the green in. Uh, for the watermelon. So I'm going to take a little bit of my coloring here. You could use food coloring that you buy in the supermarket. This is um, coloring paste. You could buy this in a craft store like Michael's. So I'm going to put a little bit at a time because I don't want it really dark. I want it very pale. And we're just going to put that in. And you make it as dark as light as you want. And we're just going to mix this up. And a little bit of green that I put in came out perfect. This is the exact color 
that I wanted. So you just have to put in a little food coloring at a time. So this is the first half of our beautiful, delicious cream cheese and whipped cream uh, frosting. So now let's do the whipped cream. And I've said this many times before, whenever you make whipped cream, put your bowl and your beaters in the freezer. The colder, the better the whipped cream comes out. So I have a pint of heavy cream right here. And I have one half of a cup, a half of a cup of powdered sugar. I'm going to get this started before I put the powdered sugar in. And we just want to whip it a little bit to get it going. I'm going to have this at soft peaks, very soft. See, you can see the way it just wraps around the spoon. I want to add my half a cup of powdered sugar in now. And then we're going to whip it up to firm peaks. And then we're going to incorporate this into our cream cheese. So let's whip this up. Nice, stiff, firm peaks. I'm going to incorporate the green cream cheese that we made. And we're going to incorporate the two of them together. Then I'm going to put it in my piping bag, put it off in the fridge until our cupcakes are all cooled off. And in the meantime, when we put it in the fridge, it'll help the icing to solidify and, you know, settle and meld together. This is so good. It smells so I'm good. just incorporating this together. Stir it in. I'm going to do it with the mixer oh, as well. Cool. Look how beautiful they are. And you can see the little specks of the chocolate chips that'll make it look like the pits inside watermelon. We have our beautiful green icing just chilling away. Now before we do anything else, let's make our watermelon sangria, okay? So what I have here is white wine. I chose to use, this is called Sweet Marie. It's kind of like Riesling. It has that little tinge of sweetness. You can use white Zippendel, Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, anyone you like. Uh, I also have some oranges and limes, some watermelon, and some uh, strawberries that I cut up. And remember all of the recipe and all of the measurements cookingwithchampagne.com. Uh, watermelon vodka. This is an orange liqueur, whether it's triple sec, Grand Marnier, Grand Gala, whichever one you choose. And this is a simple syrup. A simple syrup is equal amounts of sugar and water. Bring it to a boil, let the sugar melt, cool it off, and you have simple sugar and you can use it for anything. A lot of times they use it in drinks. So let's get our other ingredients. I put my pitcher in the freezer because I want it nice and cold. And here's my glass. Always in the Here freezer. Here is okay. our watermelon juice. Beautiful and ruby red it is, okay? So let's make our sangria. Let's put in our fruit first. I have oranges. One orange that I quartered and then, and then sliced it up again. So let's put that in. I have also uh, a lime, one lime that I quartered and sliced it into smaller slices. So that's good. You can put it in as much as you want. Right here I have strawberries, about six of them that I quartered, and about a half a cup of watermelon, and it gave off its juice, so you definitely want to put this that in. Three cups of watermelon. Okay, nice. the rest of that up with the wine. This is so good, it's so refreshing, perfect for Memorial Day. You can even use this for um, 4th of July as well. One cup of watermelon vodka. Excellent, delicious. And here is uh, three ounces of orange liqueur. Triple sec, Grand Marnier, like I said before, Grand Gala. So you put that in. And our simple syrup, I'm using a third of a cup just because I have a sweet wine. If you used maybe a Pinot or a Chardonnay, then you would use a half a cup of simple syrup. Let's stir it up. Look how pretty that is. It's a beautiful color, pinkish red. It has all the fruit inside. It's going to be delicious. And it helps that I chilled the glass pitcher and the glass. It's a great idea. Do it overnight. It's even better. Okay, so let's pour this in our glass. 
make sure people get the fruit. Take a lime in that. You can even squeeze the lime in there. It tastes good, the citrus. And I'll take a, ooh, got it right in my eye, an orange. Put that in there as well. Look how beautiful that is. Let's taste it. You know how we love our cocktails. That is delicious. Mmm, tastes like punch. So that is our watermelon sangria. Believe me, this will go in a heartbeat, okay? So now that we got this done, let's ice our cupcakes. Let's decorate it. We'll go almost to the edge of the cupcake, and you want a fat tip on your piping bag. Invest in a piping bag if you don't have one. They are so worth it. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to leave this just like this. To this, look how cute. You can buy these anywhere. These are those little sweet and sour watermelon candies. I put the black dots on with a toothpick and a little black food coloring. And you just nestle that in there. And there you have your watermelon cupcakes for Memorial Day weekend and our watermelon sangria. I'm telling you, this is so good. You have to try it. Please download the recipes, Cooking with so Champagne. God bless you. Have a wonderful, happy, and safe Memorial Day weekend. Celebrate and enjoy the nice warm weather. And here's a champagne toast to good eating. God bless.